What's going on everybody, Quake you here, back with a very very late video, it's a second upload for today, but um, I just noticed that there is a Windows dev channel preview build for Windows 10, it is an insider build for build 21296 as you see in front of you, I'm running it right now, you see it at the bottom right corner of the screen, there's not too much fixes from it, but you might be wondering also why I don't really cover uh, the the dev channel and the beta, well, the beta channel and the release channel. And that's just mainly because the dev channel gets these things ahead of time. Uh, sometimes there will be some differences, but the dev channel will typically get the cutting edge features ahead of everybody else. And so covering just the dev channel and then slowly Microsoft trickles it to the other channels. That's all that's really necessary. At least that's what I feel. But uh, getting into this, you see the changes and improvements. And in fact, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit more. So published from Brandon LeBlanc, it actually came out today. So if you're a dev channel participant, a flighter, you can get this right now. Just check for updates on Windows and you'll get this download. Um, so it says here, we're starting to roll out an update for our converged clipboard history design, which is WinKey V, to support pinning, unpinning, deleting, and syncing individual entries. And then they're just saying appreciate your feedback and stuff like that. And then the other feedback thing that they have too is the ability to manage storage spaces from within settings is now rolling out to all insiders in the dev channel. And I'll show you how to get to that. They do have some fixes here. So if you have Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and Black Ops Cold War, uh, the issue that prevents it from launching is being fixed. Um, there's a whole lot of fixes here. It also says here, installing this build will restore 64-bit emulation on ARM64 if it had been broken in the previous build, which is 21292, and obviously this is 96, um, which I'm not running, so it doesn't really matter. Also, it says we fixed an issue that can result in Explorer hanging when mounting ISOs. Never had that issue either. And also another issue that I saw with the game bar, these two things here, it says they fixed an issue from which the flight where game bar was launching on its own for certain games without pressing win key g and they also fixed an issue when the game bar was launched with win key g the pc might appear unresponsive that is an issue i actually had i haven't had that issue anymore but getting into it so starting with the changes right here pressing win key v they converged they started to roll out the converged clipboard history design before clipboard had its own separate interface now you can get it simply by pressing windows key v once I do that, you can see right there uh, what I've clipboard, saved clipboard, and you can see the different options that is there, and it's just together. Um, it wasn't out for everybody, but now you can do that, and it says here it supports pinning, unpinning, deleting, and syncing individual entries in there. Um, so that is there. You can delete entries and things like that. So that's pretty cool. You got that in there. Uh, and then the other part is the ability to manage storage spaces and create storage spaces from within the settings. I'm going to close this. And now the other time I did an insider build, I don't remember what it was. I couldn't get the storage spaces feature because it hadn't come to me yet. Um, but now it's come out to me. They're rolling out to all insiders on the dev channel. So originally, this is what I saw when I click on the storage spaces thing in settings, which I'll show you in a second. This is what I saw. I saw the traditional uh, control panel. And then I would see all the stuff to get to storage spaces, the old school storage spaces. And then you can click this. But now all I have to do is go here. This is my storage. And I can scroll down and I can see manage storage spaces. So when I click that, it brings up the new storage spaces interface, which is actually quite different from obviously the old school version, the Windows 7 ish version. So you can see the differences right there. Get help and so on. If you want to create a storage pool, you can do that. You can name it whatever you want. You can choose available disks within the storage spaces pool and you're done. And if you don't know what storage spaces are, it's just I'm just going to read off the description because it's a lot longer than it is. Basically, uh, storage spaces gives you the flexibility to save files to two or more disks for protection or get disk failures. So basically, um, if you have a DSLR, um, like I have a Sony A7R3 that I record on for this channel, it has two SD card slots. Think of those as storage spaces right two spaces to store things um i can choose to simultaneously record on each sd card at the same time to have backup in case one sd card fails and it's the same case for storage spaces where you can choose to save things to two or more discs at a time in case one of those discs fails you always have backup no matter what so that's really useful for those reasons. And that's the simple thing with this whole thing. Um, there's not much. The one thing I still don't have is I still don't have the news bar down here. I still can't get that there. 
Um, some people have it. I don't have it. When I do get it, I will, in fact, definitely do a video demoing it more. And, yeah, there's not too much on this yet. They still have some issues with Assassin's Creed franchise and State of Decay 2 hanging and crashing. And they're investigating some issues where 32-bit systems lose network connection after taking the build and so on like that. There's a whole lot. I'm not going to read through all of it because there's a whole lot. Um, it says older builds in the dev channel will be expiring the 31st of January. If you're running 2002.62 or earlier, update to the newest build available. Otherwise, that. And then also here, there's a Windows Insider webcast at 6 p.m. UTC, which is 10 a.m. Pacific. Um, so I'll most likely be attending that as well. But yeah, there's there's not too much in this build. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. But it is available. It downloads pretty fast and installs kind of slowly, even though with an SSD, M.2 SSD. But yeah, that's about it. That is Windows Insider Preview Dev Channel Build 21296. If you have any questions about it or if you want to know how to get into the windows insider channel i do have the windows insider preview um if you want to be a windows insider i have a video on that explaining everything related to windows insider program so uh i'll put that in the link the link in the description below take care everybody and also good night if you're on the east coast take care everybody